Hello and welcome to another video installment uh, as far as dealing with uh, Linux Mint version 18 and how to navigate and use it in your daily computing life. <clears throat> First of all, let me go ahead and uh, apologize. If you hear that background noise, uh, that's somebody outside cutting their grass. Um, but anyway, to go ahead and continue on, in this video, I want to talk about how to back up your or save backups for your computer in case you uh, have a virus or, or some type of a system crash. Um, for most Linux distros, they re you really don't have to worry about um, uh, any type of a computer virus or malware issue. But even nowadays, as of, um, let's see, this is June 29, 2017, you can still worry about system crashes, uh, malware, worms, what have you. Um, it is always a good idea, no matter what type of system you have, whether it's a Linux, Windows, or Apple, it's always good to have really good backups. Okay? Um, not every system may suffer from a virus, but all systems will suffer from some type of a crash. I've seen it in my uh, 15, 16 years of dealing with IT. So, let me go ahead and show you an example of what of how to go ahead and use and save your backups for uh, Linux Mint 18. So, the first thing you want to do, and the first thing I highly suggest to everybody is you want to buy you what is known as an external hard drive. That's, uh, it's, it's just a device that keeps all of your extra data. You definitely want to consider doing that. You can buy one now at your ma major uh, computer store, at your major department store. There are a lot of stores. There's a lot of uh, small stores to sell them. Um, they're either called thumb drives or external hard drives, what have you. I strongly encourage you to buy an external hard drive. You definitely, definitely want to have it to save your backup data on it, okay? So for day, for today, excuse me, my hard drive, I have a 16 gig that was lying around. It's just a little small, um, actually this is an SD card and I use this for uh, backing up my phone. Um, in, in either case, I have other drives. I have one uh, terabyte drives and a few uh, two terabyte drives that I keep a lot of my main data, my, my main backup data on. But for this case, we want to use. We're going to use a small, uh, some uh, a small set of files, so that you can see uh, how this works. But anyway, what you want to do when you do your backup is you want to plug your drive into your computer. Usually, it's a USB hard drive, or I'm sorry, it's a USB external hard drive, and you just um, when you plug it in, it'll come into your uh, system like this. And then what you want to do to start the backup process, you want to go down to your menu button, left click on menu, go to your control panel, left click on control panel, and then go up here and you'll see your backup tool. So you want to left click on your backup tool. It'll ask you for your password. Please put in your password. Then the program will load up. And then you, as you can see here, you have several options. For me, I just use the basic options here. I use two options. I use backup, by fi uh, backup files and restore files. They are both equally important. For this instance, for the first thing we want to do is go ahead and back up your files. So I'm going to choose a small directory. Um, I've saved um, uh, some image files and picture files in my picture folder we're gonna go ahead and back that up but this would be the same equivalent that you'd want to use for your whole computer system alright uh, so click on the backup files and then you have source and destination source is where you're backing up your files from destination is where you're backing up your files to so first let's choose source click the pull down It'll give you a bunch of options. You want to go to other, left click on other. It'll open up this window. Then from here you want to go to pictures. That's where I've saved all of my stuff to. Okay. 
um, you can either choose pictures yeah let's go back let's go ahead and highlight pictures that's the one we're gonna back up and we'll we highlighted it by left clicking on it and then we're gonna click on open and as you can see we're gonna back up the uh, the picture folder that's our source uh, side then we're gonna go to our destination side left click on the pull down and there's my heart and there's my external hard drive right there it doesn't show that but that's the external hard drive right there okay and then so now we're ready to go from source to destination you click forward okay if there are any other files that you want to extract I don't know why you would really need this you could just choose the files or the folders that you want but in either case if there are any files that you don't want to be saved you would shoot you would make that selection here for us we're just gonna go ahead and click forward and then here's a summary this is the source where you're backing up from I'm gonna back up my picture folder and then I'm gonna back it up to my hard drive my external hard drive that's gonna be the destination I'm not doing any compressing I'm not doing any overwrites of any other type of files or checking for mismatches so now that I've done that you just hit the apply button okay and there you go it says backup files the backup file is now finished the backup completed successfully so you just click on the close button then you go to your external hard drive, double click on it, and there are your pictures right there. All right, these are the pictures I saved. Now, what you can do in the near future if you decide to is if you can come to your external hard drive if you choose to, and you can go ahead and create a folder. All right, that's probably going to be the best thing to do. That's probably what I should have did to begin with, but I didn't. Okay. But as you can see, all of my backed up files have been backed up to my external hard drive. This is my external hard drive. And then from there, let's go ahead and save everything to a folder, to my pictures folder. I just want to select all, but I don't want to save pics folder or the lost found folder. So I just right click on all of the files that I do want to save, and I choose cut. And then I double click on the folder or directory that I want to save them to. Right click again and choose paste. That saves all of my files. They're still in my external hard drive. I've just saved everything. Instead of it being everywhere in the uh, root folder, I saved it to a folder called PEX. That's all. And so, and then you just take this, and then when you're done with your backup, you go ahead and you safely with remove your external hard drive and the way you do that on Linux Mint is you just right click on the hard drive you go down you'll either see eject or it's safe to remove this hard drive you left click on eject and it went ahead and it took it out now you can safely remove your hard drive alright now the next, uh, the next scenario, let's say you had a system crash and you want your, um, you, you had to reformat your hard drive, but you, you want to go ahead and uh, you had to delete everything. So now you need to restore your data from your external hard drive. Here's how you do that. You just put your hard drive back into your computer. It's going to come up there. All right. This is the this is the data that we wanna we wanna back uh, we wanna restore. All right, we can go ahead and close out of that. And just to make it a, a realistic or a somewhat realistic simulation, let's open up the home folder, go to the picture folder. This is all of my stuff, and then oh no, it's been deleted. Oh, okay. So what we need to do is this is the folder we want to uh, restore so we need to restore our backup so we go down to the, uh, the, the menu button left click on the menu button left click on control center
Go back to the backup tool, left click on that. It's going to ask for my password, put in your password. Okay, and now your backup tool is back up. So, this time we want to restore from the external hard drive to your computer. Okay, and we're going to restore the picture file or the picture folder, excuse me. So you come down here, you left click on restore files. This time, the source is going to be your external hard drive. Okay, that's where you're backing up from. You also want to choose directory because you saved all that to a directory, right? Okay, so we click the pull down arrow. All right, and we don't choose the whole uh, external hard drive because we got an individual directory. So we choose other. We go to the external hard drive that's over here on the left hand side. And then from there, we choose the directory we want to restore. That's going to be PICS. And that directory can be named whatever you want to on your external hard drive. Right? And then you click on open. And then PICS is in there. Now you want to choose your destination. That can be wherever it is you want it to be. In this case, it's going to be the picture directory. So we click the pull down arrow. We go down to other, left click on other, then we go to pictures, we left click on pictures, and then we go to open. Okay? So this is how this is how it's gonna do. This is what we're gonna do when we're restoring the files. Okay? We're gonna restore from the external hard drive the pic the pics uh, directory to our computer in the pictures directory. I hope I made sense when I said that. If I didn't, I apologize. From there, we just go ahead and click forward, get a brief summary, and then you click apply. As we can see, it's done. So you can go ahead and close it, open up your, uh, your home folder, go to your pictures, open that up, and there's your files right there. That's how you can do a simple uh, backup and restore. Like I said, I, I, I strongly suggest that you guys have some type of a backup plan, even if it's nothing more than just copy and pasting from your external hard drive to your, to your computer and vice versa. I, I do that mostly. Um, but I just wanted to go over this uh, backup tool and show you that uh, Linux Mint 18 does have a backup tool that you can use. Um, Please, 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 everybody uh, develop some type of a backup plan. Um, no one usually thinks about backing up their system until their system crashes for whatever reason. So uh, go ahead and adopt a backup plan if you want to. Use this backup tool or use whatever other tool that you, uh, you find that you want to use. But in either case, that's it for this video. Thank you very much, and you have a good day.